Hello. Uh, my biggest takeaway on the accessibility articles was about kind of both looking at the accessibility of the website and any digital or online content, as well as the usability um, in relation to the universal design for learning model and stuff like that. I thought the, those two things kind of together obviously make best educational practices. And so first step is making sure that everyone has access to whatever it is you're using in your, um, in your lesson or in your learning materials, but then also making sure that it's usable and it fits into an overall structure that you're trying to um, achieve with your, with your stuff. Uh, one of the concepts that was new to me or something that maybe I've just never really thought about before was the idea of writing your links so that they make sense out of con uh, out of context. And one of the things I noticed is in my own document, I, I embed a lot of um, Google Slides into my learning management system. We use Canvas at our school. And from that Google Slides agenda, I link a lot of the other activities um, assignments, documents, stuff like that. But a lot of my, a lot of my links are just click here. And so I think about, you know, what it must be like if you're using a screen reader, um, it could be pretty difficult to navigate that stuff and find the information that you're looking for. So that's definitely of the many things that were presented to us in this, um, activity or in these two articles, that's something that'll really, um, be something I'm more cognizant of and think about as I put together my materials in the future. Again, just um, something I never really thought about until uh, reading these articles. Uh, in reviewing the principles of accessible design, I've noticed there are quite a few things I think I already do with um, the materials I create, like providing um, equivalent alternative text. I think most of my documents have a pretty logical structure. But one of the things I want to do as I move through uh, kind of preparing things for next year and then also reviewing the things I've done is use those principles, use those um, ideas as kind of a checklist just to make sure I'm running through everything to uh, make it as easy and as accessible uh, for all students in my classes to use the materials that I create or the things that I bring in from outside sources. So again, the, the biggest things I think I'll focus on as I move forward are just that idea of ensuring that the little things are there to make every student have the ability to access the information on their own independently so that they can feel like they're empowered to do it themselves and don't have to rely on others. And then just focusing on those two elements of both accessibility and usability to make my um, learning experiences uh, beneficial for all students.